welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. I wanted to put out this video because I had kind of an unfortunate exchange with an individual that I've been talking to about buying uh, real estate in Jamaica and setting up a home. And I never want to make people feel bad, but I wanted to put this information out so that you guys know it is so easy to get ripped off in Jamaica. If people think you don't know what things are supposed to cause or don't know what is supposed to happen, they can really take advantage of you. And this is one reason I started this channel and try to help people because I've kind of navigated with my husband's help very much because <laughs> he's very savvy and street smart about this stuff. With his help, we've navigated setting up multiple houses now and getting the best rates possible because we know what things cost and the value of things in Jamaica. So I talk about the these things and many more things on my coaching calls that I do on Wednesdays and Thursdays. This is something I coach people on, try to help them with pricing and what what do they need to do with their house? How should they set it up? And I give them recommendations on what to do based on their specific situation and their unique needs because not everyone buys a house for the same reason. Some people will live in it full time. Some people will use it as a vacation house only. Some people want to rent out on Airbnb and then some do long-term rentals. So based on what you're trying to do and your specific goals for the house, the setup and what you do with it can be very different. So I try to help people do exactly what they need to make it comfortable for whoever is going to be there. But at the same time, you don't want to overdue because that's money you could be saving. So I have this scenario, guys, and this is a very typical subject that I talk about on coaching calls. So I wanted to give you guys a scenario just to let you know how beneficial these calls can be to really help point you in the right direction if you have questions about different things in Jamaica. So this particular individual is setting up a house. Um, the scenario is they bought two AC units and I know the exact house they bought because I have a house exactly like it. Um, it's the two bedroom, two bath in uh, one of the Chemtech developments. So if you know those houses or you've been through maybe some of the models, you know they're not huge houses. The bedrooms are smaller. The living space that goes through the one side of the house with the living room, dining, and kitchen, it's not a huge area. So you don't need a huge AC to cool that whole area. When we set up our house in Stonebrook Manor, the same floor plan, we got um, 12,000 BTU AC units. And they more than cool that house. It was so cold in there after having the AC on for about 20 minutes. So... For those types of houses, just for your 411, you do not need more than a 12,000 BTU unit. So wherever this individual went, they ended up buying one 18,000 BTU unit and one 30,000 BTU unit. So first of all, the units are way more than they needed, plus the cost was way more. So to give you some comparison, for the AC units, the individual paid 298,000 Jamaican dollars plus $25,000 to install each unit. So a total of $348,000. Now, if I would have been able to help this person or guide them a little better, um, I would have advised them to get a 12,000 BTU unit at the Kingston appliance and TV de um, depot. And those units there sell, the 12,000 BTU sell for $66,000 and it's $5,000 to install. So for one unit, for the unit and the installation, $71,000. And then if you're getting two units, that would be $142,000. So 
this person could have paid $142,000. Instead, they paid $348,000 for two AC units. So they could have saved $206,000 more. I hate to say it, but they paid double than what they really needed to to cool two rooms in a house. So I just want to let you guys know, be careful. Please, please be careful. Everybody, I work hard for my money. You work hard for your money. You don't want to waste it. You don't want to spend more money on something than you have to. And I'm, I wouldn't say I'm cheap, but I'm very frugal and I really do like to negotiate prices when I go to stores. Um, buying used cars is always a really fun time for me. <laughs> so, cause you just get to kind of haggle and that's fun to me. Some people hate it, but I love it. So I really hate paying the price for something. So whenever I go into these stores, I always try to talk them down. And my husband is of the same mindset as well. So I'm sure when they see us coming, the store owners are like, oh my God, not, not them, not them again. <laughs> so, um, we work so hard for our money and we all have to be frugal at some point when we're buying certain things for houses because there's so many things that have to be bought to set up a house. So be careful when you're buying these things. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to me. Um, there's also a link in the description for the coaching calls. Like I said, I do that on Wednesday and Thursdays. And these are the things that I talk about on those calls, helping people figure out what they need, what they don't need, what the best option is uh, for their situation. So if you guys have questions or want to set up those calls, uh, the link will be in the description. And just even if you don't set up a call, it's not even about that. It's about I just want you guys to set up your house in the best way uh, for the least amount possible. You want everything to be up to standard of course, but you don't want to overpay for something if you don't have to. So just be mindful of that. If you're in Jamaica and you're buying things, try to go with somebody local that might know the prices a little better. Or what I find sometimes is if you're from the US or the UK or Canada and you don't deal with the Jamaican dollar all the time, the value and the conversion rates might be a bit confusing. So you might get thrown off by that and think you're paying one thing and you know you might be paying more than what you think. So just be very mindful of the pricing and what people are quoting you. If you like to negotiate, try to talk them down, especially if you're buying a lot of things. If you're buying ACs and fans and appliances, you got to get a deal. Don't pay what's on the sticker. That's no good. Don't do that. As my <laughs> three-year-old would say, he'll look at me and he'll go, no good, no good. So <laughs> don't pay the sticker price um, if you're buying a lot of items from one store. That's why I try to encourage people to get all your appliances, your ACs, your TVs at one place so you can get the biggest bang for your buck and get a hefty discount on it, especially if you're paying cash. So if you guys have any questions about any of this or where to get the best appliances or how to get them set up, please reach out to me. I'll be glad to help you. And please be smart with your money. You work too hard for it just to um, overpay for these things. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day.